Hey, awesome art students. This is Mrs. Smith, art teacher at Hope Children's Center. Today, we are going to do some, some process art. Art is a process, not a product. So today, we'll do that, show you ideas with process art, and we also will continue on with some examples of texture. The first one that we I've found is leaf rubbings. Those have been around for a while, but they're so fun. Just gather some leaves, get you some crayons, put the leaves underneath the paper, and do some leaf rubbings. Also a texture collage. You can gather all kinds of textures from your home, sandpaper, foil, cotton, anything that you can find and cut some pieces and you can make you a texture collage. You can also gather some paper towel tubes and cut them in small pieces and gather some lids from some jars and you can make a collage with these different materials. Here we're using tissue paper with watered down glue to add texture. Just to make that a little more creative, you can put your tissue paper down, glue it down. You can also spray water on top of it. It will smear, let it dry, and you could add some beautiful black cutout trees to the top of your uh, tissue paper. This is a tissue paper self-portrait done the same way, but then get you some white paper, draw yourself, cut it out or have mommy help you cut it out and glue that on top of your tissue paper. This is a fun, messy activity using shaving cream and paint. So you're painting the shaving cream. This we've done at school, which is fun. You gather cotton balls and put them in a tub and then you watercolor them. We've done some comb painting, gather all different sizes and kinds of combs and get you some paint and just paint, paint with those combs. This is like our fork. Um, we did Starry Night with the fork. Well, now you're using the fork to make a print and then you get your finger and get some green paint and you have a stem. This is texture using all kinds of balls, rolling them around in a tube or go outside if you have a large sheet of paper and some paint and you can just roll those balls right through the paint. Probably some of you have done some Lego prints. That's a good form of using texture and printing. This is salt painting, where you can paint with watercolors on your paper and then sprinkle some salt on there. Bubble painting is always fun using texture. You can make a bubble print, put your paper over the top of the bubble solution blow with the straw and you have yourself a bubble print. Rock painting is always awesome. Collecting all different sizes and shapes of rocks and doing some designs on them. If you happen to have a magnet at home, you can do some magnet painting. Here's a tape resist where you're putting tape on your picture and then you're painting or coloring in the different space and then removing the tape. This we did at school was really fun firecracker print. 
get you a paper towel tube, cut in half, cut these little legs, and then press down and you have a firecracker print. This is a fun collage using uh, different household items first, maybe on a black sheet of paper, and then come back, let that dry, come back and use something around. Looks like they use paper towel tubes. You could use a cup, anything with a round shape and come back over and do a circle print. Maybe you wake up and say, you know what? I don't wanna be messy today. Get you some Ziploc bags. I, I like to put tape over here just to make sure it doesn't squeak out. And we'll put some paint in there, put your tape on and let your children uh, squish and mix the paint. No mess. Here's some cool sculpture designs using texture with cut up paper towel tubes, glue them down. Uh, usually, a lot of is recommended washable Elmers, but if you buy the regular Elmer, El, excuse me, Elmers, it'll stick better. And then go back and paint them. This is using straws, a straw collage. This is collecting all kinds of bottle lids. And we did this at school once, one year after we collected a lot of different lids and the kids really enjoyed this. This is using um, popsicle sticks. You can glue them together, then go back and paint them. This is a 3D sculpture using um, pipe cleaners, which you can add some beads on. This is a styrofoam base, but if you don't have any styrofoam, <clears throat> you could also use Play-Doh as your base. This is a paper collage we did with kindergarten one year. They loved it, they turned out so awesome. This is using paper towel tubes of all different sizes and gluing them to a base, a paper base. Also saw how they put foil, wrapped it around whatever base they chose, like the cardboard or the paper, and um, then they painted it. And this is using cardboard pieces that are cut up. Um, you might have some in the garage, uh, glue them all together, make a neat sculpture, and come back and paint it. These are just some ideas that you can do over the next couple of weeks uh, using texture, uh, using sculpture, painting, coloring. Um, I hope you like them and send me some pictures of some of your creations. And we'll see you next time.